Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hello if you are new. My name is Jess and today we're continuing our journey in World of Warcraft Cataclysm, leveling our Morgan, not that she looks like it right now, priest. I appreciate you clicking on this video and joining me on this Let's Play. You'll be able to see that my UI looks a little bit different. I have been playing around with edit mode basically and I think it's Bowser the Healer on YouTube has a really good video on his setup and I have used his setup and just mildly tweaked it and by mildly I mean it looks basically the same as just some sizing differences. So the main thing is my top two toolbars are going to be like all my main spells. The buffs and debuffs are now underneath that and then this lower bar is sort of spells I don't use very often but still might use in combat like fade leap of faith my buffs etc and then these two little boxes only show up also this one's a little bit out of line um only show up when I'm not in combat so when I'm in combat they fade away which I really like because they're they're items I won't use in combat anyway they're my professions my critters my mounts hearthstones that sort of thing so I'm just sort of having to play around with it I only sort of did some brief testing last night so if there's anything super weird I'm sorry <laughs> we're still getting the, the hang of it because I also want to get into like weak auras um uh, deadly boss mods or big wigs I'm not sure which one is better so if any of you guys have a preference please let me know in the comments below uh, mainly because I'm starting to get a few higher level characters such as our warlock who we will start doing dungeons with and potentially raiding with at some point so I need to make sure I'm up to speed before we get before we get to that point so that it's not all new and I'm completely overwhelmed the problem with this character is I wasn't sure whether to do it's not as easy to switch between action bars so I've got all my heals at the end here um, you can't really see because my mouse is off but they're highlighted although that's the same thing twice um, and then I've sort of got my damage spells at the front why do I have two of these um, so we'll see how that goes really and then these ones are sort of yeah the second level is more like debuffs counter spells oh this is what's wrong this should be here so yeah we'll just get straight back into that i'm hoping we can finish dark shore today we've got three achievements to go though so it might not be achievable we'll see what do we need to do here seed of the earth i can't even remember what we have to do get some materials talk to anu Where may I find a seed of the earth? Powerful reagent for one so young. You will kill many foes in the name of your alliance, but it is important to remember that in the great cycle, birth is as powerful as death. Anu slowly reaches up to his head and withdraws an inconspicuous acorn. He lowers his arm to you with unhurried calm. This is extremely potent. I apologize, I did not wish that to sound like a boast. Perfect. So... You need to cleanse some fur blog and do something with a brazier. We'll see. So I've also got my two speed um, items next to my mount. So the way I've kind of done my mounts is a flying mount, ground mount, aquatic mount, which I've never used um, because they're kind of the main three and then four people such as my warlock she's got dragon flying regular mount like a flying regular mount and um aquatic mount i've never had the luxury of having so many mounts on my action bar oh we just leveled talents i'm at a complete loss for talents can't lie shadow with death deals 50 percent less damage to you if your shadow word death fails to kill a target at or below 20% health, its cooldown is reset. I don't understand because it's not like we put that on ourselves. Weird. 
Oh, that's cool. Reduces the target's physical damage taken by 5% for 15 seconds after a critical heal with flash heal or penance. Another fancy thing I figured out or playing around is that I can now, if I just right click a portrait, flash heal, and if I shift click, apply renew. Because I've set up, who knew? Um, key bindings, click casting. I've set up two click casting buttons. I might add more at some point because I have a couple other, I have like three buttons on my mouse on top of the two regular ones. Um, but I figured for now, I can't reach that. We needed to be as, um, keep it as simple as possible. Ooh, am I meant to cleanse them before they die? I think so. Oopsies. I wonder if I can scare him away and then do this on him? No. Invalid target for some reason. I guess because he's a rare, it doesn't work the same. Ooh, new belt. Nail belt, so no good. The other handy thing is I can literally click any portrait, so this one here that's showing um, under my target, like the target of target, focus target, whatever it is, um, that works with the click casting as well. So I think especially when I'm healing a dungeon that's going to be super super helpful. So excited to try it out, but um, I realized we've never been to Stormwind, so we've never actually selected a chromy time, so we can't do Cataclysm and Classic Dungeons currently. And I'm gonna need to go do that soon because I noticed also that Bellwood is like the same level as what we are, like 15 to 30, and Ashenvale is only 7 to 30. I'm pretty sure those are the two next zones that we should be heading into, or that it's probably gonna direct us into even so I will once we finish off Darkshore I will get that done off screen so you guys don't have to watch the little trick although I'm sure it's not as bad as it has it used to be it's not ready yet just meant to kill that thing. I was actually thinking that um, 
Having to kill two is kind of a lot if you were low level. Just kill the corruption, not the fur blob. It's alright, we got there more than halfway through the quest. No dramas. to just um attacking things it's one of the thing i'm interested in giving a go is mouse overhealing uh i'm just a little nervous about that because um as the healer if, if i am not good at it it's um a bit risky for everyone else you know so we will potentially do that on would probably start it on this character honestly when I first tried doing mouse over healing so that um oh oopsies so that there's less risk of like the party wiping because you don't always even really need healers at this point as in like the mechanics aren't super intense and tanks sometimes don't take a lot of damage One more brazier and we are done. Even stay asleep. I need to target something first. Thank you, with your efforts we might be able to save the Blackwood who remain. You've done well, my people have begun to emerge from their madness, but they will fall back into it if we do not deal with the source of the corruption. The Jadefire Satyrs of Felwood have found their way into Darkshore, painting the land, water and creatures they encounter. I've seen what their corruption has done to my people and their homes. 
If we do not turn back the Satyrs, all of us will share that fate. Within the cave to the east is Sh Shirax the Defiler, the Satyr responsible for the ills of the Blackwood. Slay him and free us from, the, from his influence. Show the Satyr that the Blackwood will not lay down and die so easily. And we will get a reasonably upgraded wand. No, we will if we get um, a good offhand. I'm going to turn the switching back and forth off because it's a little bit um it's a little bit intense when we're in and out of combat so much it'd be kind of cool in a main city if you feel like being a human for a bit but i don't know if i'm being a bit arrogant thinking that i can just like outrun all these dudes and eventually they'll leave me alone maybe Wait, most of them did. We'll just kill this one. Also, if you like the Darkshore zone, our Season of Discovery Hunter has just started in Darkshore as well. But obviously the original Darkshore before the Cataclysm. So check out that playlist if you're interested in seeing how that is going. say um there's a lot of them but I don't have to kill them just him Thank you. You are a hero to my people. Without you, we would be doomed to madness and death. May the bear spirit always watch over you. Consumed by madness, done it. Two to go. So we have. I want to get the last seed of life first before we head down to hand in the other one. Babies are so cute. Glittering shell. Just to say, something's gonna pop out of it though, right? Hermit Tide Crawler. That is a creepy looking fish. Danger fish. And now it's gone. Weird. Hand this one in again back up here.
I really wish it kept me in my running wild state when I herbed. Herbed. Um, sort of like how druids stay in their form when they uh, scan and collect stuff. It's like it would make sense, right? Life is powerful. Concentrated in its purest form, it can overcome anything. Someday, even Darkshaw will heal from its wounds. Did you find everything I need? Goddess, watch over you. Perfect, this is everything. Did you have fun collecting the wisp? I used to chase the wisps around Ashenvale when I was just a girl. Lost in memories for a moment. Hithrina suddenly grows somber. I'm afraid I found out what we're dealing with. May the stars guide you. Are you familiar with the old ones? I know and I agree that the artifact you found in the lake can only be their work and it's devouring Darkshore. Something is stirring up terrors we thought dead long ago. This is bigger than you or me, but my first concern is protecting the wildlife. Here, the sapling contains the life essence you gathered for me. I believe it can protect the local fauna. Test it out on a nearby unconsumed bear, stag, or moonstalker and let me know what happens. We we'll test out on any healthy animal. Oh, this upgraded to a, gr a purple? Item level 79. Amazing. I am looking forward to getting some new gear because honestly we look a bit haggard at the minute. Is that a healthy one? Sure is. That was easy. The sapling you carry grows in power even as we speak. Life is regenerative. Regenerative. Regenerat oh my god. You know what it is. You can read it. I can't say it. Did it work? Go in peace. Interesting. It sounds like our cure will keep the wildlife safe, but you say you saw something else, some kind of angry presence. This is a good sign. Whatever is behind this isn't happy, and that means we're onto something. May the stars. That's good. I actually didn't see anything. Now that we know our preventative measures work, we should cover as much ground as possible. I've arranged to commandeer one of the hippogriffs, but I can't do this alone. Talk to my friend Orseus next to the flight master right outside the grove here. Let him know when you're ready and I'll meet you there. We'll canvas Darkshaw from the air and protect as many animals as we can. Awesome. Where is this herb? What must are you? Hello. Katharina sent me to borrow one of your hippogriffs. Good luck, friend. Such a creepy little wave. Hop on. To see what any animals actually are, you know.
now we just have the bears. Would anyone want to dig up something so horrific? I'm convinced these things are behind what's happening to the animals here. I have a feeling this is going to be the Devourer and then the rest of the quest stuff is going to be the battle for Darkshaw. So we are right at the bottom now. Like there's not, there's only this that we haven't discovered, I'm pretty sure. Good work. Let us know if we need to take another... Okay, she was bobbing around too much. That was really hard to read. Oh, I think I was just going to say, if, like, if we didn't get everyone, we could fly again. So the animals are safe then, thank you, thank you. But now it's time to turn our attention to the source. Goddess, watch over. Now that the creatures of Darkshore are safe, it's let's turn our attention to the artifact you found in the lake. I believe it's the work of a minion of the old gods. We'll fight these fiends using the very life-giving energies of Darkshore itself. Take the lifebringer sapling to the shore of the shallow lake to the south of here. Wave it over the waters of the lake and it should disable that ancient artifact. Be careful, the artifact is likely to be guarded by who knows what. I am on it. Sell my junk. Repair. One of these. Sort of holding on to this in case we get a good offhand. May the stars. Bubbles. Ropes. We leveled. So we're close to 30. It does help that while, like in between parts, I passed us back to the inn so that we could actually get some rested XP. So we're leveling a little bit quicker than planned. What brings you here? Goddess, watch over you. I'm afraid to ask. Is the artifact destroyed? What about its guardian? Your Love of the loon, look at you. That must have been some fight, covered in what looks like chowder. If a mere minion could cause so much agony here in Darkshore, I can't even imagine the suffering that a true old one would 
could bring about. While at least the animals are safe for now, I will plant the sapling you created to help rebuild the shattered land. Thank you, I'll give you a hug, but you know, Chowder. May the stars guide you. As expected, the Devourer is now done. We have one more achievement to go. Um, we have a talent point, I'll just quickly look at that. Versus damage of Shadow Word Pain and Purge of the Wicked. Immediately, Power Word Shield, your target, and for the next 8 seconds, Power Word Shield has no cooldown. Okay. Forgot that we have a Shadow Fiend. Shadow Covenant increases Shadow Spell Damage and Healing by an additional 10%. Just cool down power word radiance. I don't know. You knew your power shield was completely absorbed, you restore. Ooh, quite like that one. I mean we don't actually we don't really run out of mana. It's actually quite handy, we use smite all the time. Hopefully this quest line isn't super super long and we will be able to finish this. We'll be able to finish Darkshore in this part. That'd be amazing. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> What's on your mind? Be good. Oh, we know a thing or two about this Sogoth. The question is, do you really want to know? See you soon. Master's Glaive was the site of an ancient battle. The Titans sent 20 of their stone giants against Sogoth. Of those 20 giants, one survived. The tablets say that Kron, the largest of the stone giants, allowed himself to be entangled by Sogoth's tendrils, just long enough to be lifted close enough to the creature's skull, within reach of his mighty sword. It's a good thing he's dead. We don't really have 20 stone giants lying around to stop him again. Safe the Big Beard's Iron Forge sent me here to check on Rem Travel's dig the moment they got word of the disaster. Look at it. Precious artifacts washed to sea, months of tedious digging undone in a moment. When the tidal waves hit, they demolished the Murloc encampments along the shore. Good news? No, not with my luck. The survivors are squatting in the shelter of the ruins and they're doing more damage than the elements ever could. Would you mind getting your waders on and taking care of Keep things? Your feet on the ground. Well met. Who are you again? Have you met? Have we met? If you're here from the League, you can tell them I'm not leaving. Not without my find. I had it right in my hand, then, then the screaming, then the wetness. Listen here, who's your name? I documented the whole thing in my journal, the day the tidal wave hit. I know just where I left it. The journal, not the find. Help me get, help me get the one so we can get the other. Or vice versa. Do you follow? Follow me. See you soon. Superb. Gather your strength. What's... Your face, we've got a long way to travel. How are you? So you can get another quest first. Underneath room travels. Okay. We're picking that up, but we'll read it later. Actually, we can read it while we follow him, potentially. Underneath room travels, forgetful exterior is the mind of a genius, an enigma cloaked in senility but i'm not about to give up on the old man look at what i found in his notes not there no that's a shopping list here on the page where he's trying to figure out what year it is the disc we think of this titan artifact as some sort of an encrypted storage wheel we were carefully unearthing it when the disaster hit but hopefully it's still in the ruins dive in and grab it for me Handily enough, like everything's kind of nearby. I need a target. You can kill Murlocs and escort Mr. Rim Travel.
The ones you see here are identical to ones I dug up a few months ago, but they're flooded. Curious, eh? I'm also not sure what's going on with my bags. They sometimes get a bit, um, messed up. I don't know why. Yeah, so his thing just did 13 damage to me instead of have a target. whatever it was meant to do. No. bigwigs for example when we get that buff it makes our penance do more damage i feel like i'm gonna need something that pops up sort of letting me know this one power of the dark side to sort of be like cast penance is that sort of what we chorus is for i think so what can i do for you he blends into the scenery it's funny seeing it just like chilling on top of a crate as if like they can't swim or something even though they 100% can purple go pet. We're almost there. Yes. Do this and just around in a loop. Great to meet you. Mate, we're right back where we started. You're joking. Where did he go? Because he was right here and then he ran down. I do not want to escort this dude again. Is he dead? Oh my god, he's dead! No! God. I didn't know there was another. That is shocking on my part. Shocking on my part. We've done this twice now. Um. Like on this character, even escort quest that I just get sidetracked and that we lose. I need a target.
Okay. It's gonna wait for them to go away. Hand in and we'll have to pick up the bloomin' escort quest again. What can I do for you? Did you find it? Groff wants to clear out the ruins as soon as possible. Be good. Spectacular, good work. I'm sure Room Travel would thank you himself if he could remember your name. Look at the surface of the disc. These microscopic etchings, this is amazing. I'm certain the strange wheel holds information if only we could read it. Safe travel. Now that we have the disc, a lot of our earlier finds are starting to make sense. Shortly after my arrival, Respective Rem Travel unearthed what he presumed to be a prehistoric toaster. It's my belief that the slotted box is some sort of data reader. Unfortunately, it broke apart and washed away with the rest of our base camp when the tidal wave struck. It can't have gone far, pieces must be buried in the nearby sand. Use my trusty buried artifact detector to comb the beach for them. See you soon. What's on your mind? Bravo, now let's take a look see at our new situation. What, mer more murlocs? I swear on my stones, the more murlocs you kill, the more murlocs appear. Is it just me? We're gonna need a new approach. Be good. We can figure this out. We just need some dwarven ingenuity. Think, Groffy, think. These murlocs are just looking for a home, right? Let's do something constructive. I mean that literally. All sorts of debris was washed ashore during the ca catastrophe, and some of the decimated murloc hovels may still be salvageable. Run along the shore here and gather up any building materials fit for a murloc. That's an admittedly low standard. Get your feet on the ground. See you soon. We've got a long way to travel. I hate him. I honestly hate him. Keep a closer eye on him this time and only kill what he aggros. I need to target something first. Curious what's coming up at the minute. We're doing Time Walking Dungeon event for Dragonflight. I did actually just do that on my Warlock off screen since she's 70 now. Um, which is kind of cool so we can start doing some more in-game content even though she's still doing the campaign. So when you see her next she will look very different because I realized when I hit 70 I didn't upgrade any of her gear. So I sort of just went to the auction house, brought a whole lot of stuff that was a high item level. We're still not high enough to do heroics, but we can start doing some dungeons, potentially start getting into heroics later. And eventually maybe raid. I really would like to start raiding at some point.
It is so hard to not run off and do other things, but I'm just, I don't trust this dude. Almost there. Camp where I left my notes is just <laughs> it's just around the corner. You don't say. The three hammers where you look at that, more ruins. It was so close to being done last time. <laughs> I just hadn't attacked some murlocs. No. Safe travels. Ah, uh, you've helped the prospector find his missing journal to think it was here all along. Someday you'll have to show me this other set of ruins he's always going on about. Be good. Are we going to upgrade? Oh, and this one over there. I'd hate for this to be, you know, like the one. We have mail. Creepy fish. Oh my god, many creepy fish. I'm so glad I remembered that I have levitate for this so we don't have to swim. Peace doesn't take too long to find.
I wonder if it's actually in a spot or if it's just like I a luck closer. situation. So far, no good. So far, no good at all. I'm gonna try like uncover use that item yet. the rest of the, the highlighted zone. Ready yet? My goodness. Charging. Oh no, do they do just be it? It did pop up in the same area, so I can't use that item yet. Makes me think it might be in one spot. I don't want to have to kill you guys too. Okay, okay, we read the quest instructions. We didn't quite follow them. Um, you have to make it out of five device fragments. So we got there. We had we we had enough, thankfully. Thank goodness for Google, honestly. I'd have been running around for so much longer. Wait enough for you? Your feet on the ground. Archaeologist Groff picks through the wreckage. Well, not much here that don't look stepped on, sat on, or soaked in a toilet. Toss some thatch on top and it'll do. Tell me, do you can oh do you consider yourself an architect? Be good. Can we build it? Yes we can. Just west of the dig site I planted a banner on the shore. The sand is firm and it's as good a site as any. Take my tools and the parts you collected and build these ornery pests a different place to live. See you soon. Well met. Did you assemble all the pieces of the slotted device? We may need to remove Prospective Rim Travel Sandwich from the ancient data interface. Keep your feet on the ground. Why yes, this is it. You see, the slot is the exact dimensions of the ancient disc, just as I'd surmised. Here's your reward, you've earned it. Junior archaeologist feared upends the device and pours mud and garbage from the slot. Oh, and we get an offhand to so that's handy. Are you ready to meet history face to face? Let's see what the ancients have to say. I knew it, it's calling up a message. Kill it. <laughs> diagnostic, diagnostic fail. Mother. Site has been compromised, the aspects must be alerted. I 
Amazing. Room travel's done it again. We'll see if Ironforge can make sense of this. Righty, let's go build them a house. A little Murloc home. Oh my gosh, cute! Don't attack me though. I like the little ones. I saw someone in a battleground who had like a backpack that had a little baby Murloc in it. And I have no clue what it's called or where you get it from, but I want it. Hello. Argos, our new seaside condo. Be good. Aha, that sounds like quite a heap you built there. Did they take to it? Good, good. Need to see if my plan comes to fruition. Archaeologist Groff watches as scourges of Murloc stream down the beach, pouring into the hovel from all corners of the compass. Gradually, his brows knit together. What have I done? Safe travel. Perfect. So, time to go back to Larian at the Grove of the Ancients. I don't think we're going to get this all finished off today, guys, because we still have a section we haven't even, like, uncovered in terms of exploration. I'm pretty sure it looks great out to me. What brings you here? The dwarf story is unsettling, yet informative. It seems we have a few options left. Farewell. We may not have 20 stone giants to take on our enemy, but we giants of ancient lumber are as strong as any rock. Look around you, Borgen. My kindred sleep, yet they will heed the keeper's horn when the time of need is upon them. Will you find Aros, the keeper of the grove, beyond the bridge northeast of here? Tell him the urgency of our situation. Uh oh, he's dead. Aros's body appears to be lifeless, yet still warm. Perhaps his killers are nearby. The Naga. Creature appears to have had its skull broken in a fight with Aros. It looks like what you've heard described as a Naga before. It is said that despite their monstrous features, Naga are night elves warped by the arcane magic of Queen Ajara. It seems they've decided to stop you from obtaining the Horn of the Ancients. Back we go. Oh, who's attacking me? Oh, just a stag. Greetings. The Naga are in league with the Twilight's hammer, just what we needed. Alone light your path. Oh. If the Naga want to throw in their lot with the Twilight Hammer, then may Alune have mercy on them. Go into the lair in the island of Nazjuval and find their leader, the Naga warlord known only as Wrathspine. Perhaps the Horn of the Ancients can still be saved. The stars guide you. What brings you here? We cannot let the Naga get away with this. Slaying the Keeper of the Grove amounts to a declaration of war. We'll find their den inside a cave on the island of Najbal, south, far to the southwest. I want you to send them a clear message. Okay, maybe these are the last quests? So hard because I don't want to like leave just that much to go. I'm running out of time to record. We'll just try really quickly do these two, and then if this doesn't finish it, then sadly we're going to have to wait till next time. But killing a leader, right? Maybe? Seems a bit too soon. There's also like no reward, so. Not too. Well, sad. It's actually like not. It doesn't stay. The, the house we just built for the Murlocs is gone. Here we go, explore Darkshore. That's a good sign. 
realize we don't even have our power shield on. It's another weak aura I want to figure out how to do is to let me know if I need to rebuff either myself or a party member and also if my soul stone is like off cooldown basically should be used because that would be very handy um because I forget about it all the time Lord Sinslayer just showed up on your mat. Oh, we're literally attacking him. Level 30! At least now we can fly back to hand the quest in, which will be a bit faster. Battleground Silver Shard. Mine's unlocked. I actually really like that one. I can't lie. You know, we're just going to shortcut our little butts in over here. I'm not sure if it came to the right spot. Oh no, lag. Maybe this wasn't the right spot. Aha! Uh -huh. Down here? Relic's been offered to Ajara above us as we speak. Warlord doesn't seem to have the horn on him, perhaps he was telling the truth. The Warlord said the Horde of the Ancients was being offered to Ajara above Nashval. Perhaps it's not too late to save the Ancient Relic from being destroyed. Okay, how do we get back out of here? <laughs> so I jumped down a hole, right? Which means this way? Maybe?
Okay, perfect. This is the way out. Really does back up at least. Try find the exit and then just kill one more. I'm just not sure if that's like a major risky move. Yeah. Oh sweet, this one right there. Last one. Oh. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Oh, no. It's a Morgan Druid. For some reason, I thought it was a Tauren. Where is this offering going to be done? Over here. Right, as I said. I definitely didn't need the one that gives me more mana back because honestly we barely lose any it's kind of ridiculous Yeah, suppose Queen Ashara, you will soon beg for a swift death. It's over, Ashara. You and your Naga will return to the bottom of the seas where you belong. Are they going to fight? How might nature serve? I'm just going to stand there. I've no need to fight you. It appears I've already won. You cannot stop our attack on Darkshore and save Hyjal at the same time. She's not lying. Nordrasil is in danger. I must make haste and prepare for Hyjal's defense. It will be up to you to use the Horn of the Ancients and stop Sogoth's return. I must protect the wild. You've done well. Unfortunately, the battle is far from over. May nature... The Ancients of the Grove have come to our aid. I can see through their eyes even as we speak. Twilight's Hammer has been forced to hasten their ritual and have thus only managed to resurrect but a remnant of Dread Sogoth. Destroy it before it's too late. I am needed elsewhere. Return to the Druids at the Grove of the Ancients. When it's all over, they will direct you further. Nature stands with you. Okay. I know I said we weren't going to continue, but this is going to be the last thing, right? We've got to do it.
It's not ready yet. Reminds me of Lord of the Rings. With the trees coming in to fight. We did it. Now to go hand in. Trees can finish them off. We can finally rest here now, it appears Darkshaw has been saved and we have you to thank for it. Darkshaw may be battered and broken but thanks to you we've achieved some amount of safety here, some amount of peace with much rebuilding to do. You should continue on friend, Garrosh has pressed the, knight, the full might of his horde against us in Ashenvale. They will kill all of us and chop the forest clear if we don't step forward to stop them. If we are if we're to have any hope of not losing these forests entirely we'll need your help. Follow the road to the south and find Centennial Shayla. You most definitely will, thank you sir. Well done, the Naga seek the destruction and subjugation of all surface dwellers. Do not hesitate to drive them out of our lands and back into the shadowy ocean depths where they belong. Till next we meet. So we missed seeing it pop up, but... We got the achievement, Darkshore Quest, all done. I've never done that before, so that is exciting. And now we can move on into the next zone. So... This is definitely a good place to finish up for today. If you've made it to the end of this video, thank you so, so much. I really appreciate your support and would love if you could give this video a thumbs up. I upload videos every Monday, Wednesday and Friday, so don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss the next part of our journey. I'll see you all very soon. Bye guys!